Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at returning multiple values in case of a V lookup. Now the lookup formula in, I don't know whether it is a limitation or not, but I think it was designed for this purpose, is to return a value. It looks up a, a range of values which are unique and return a value. What do I mean? For example, I have some data to set here. All I want to do is V lookup. The search key is this one here. Possibly could just lock that comma. This our range is this comma. Our, when I find what I'm searching, I need to return a value in the second column, which is my index, one, two. Exact match, then like so. So what's going on here? Let's understand. When I put east, it returns Peter one, which is correct here. However, I have another east with Peter two, which is not returned here. If I change this to north, it returns John one. This is John, which is correct. However, there's also John two, which is not returned here. So what the VLOOKUP formula does, it returns a single value. When it finds a match, it's the first match it finds, like in this example, it goes through, it finds the north, the first north it finds, it returns the value corresponding to this north, and it will stop there. Do not continue down to find the other north. So the question is, how do we return all the values related to north in our example here? There are a number of ways you could do this, but I'm going to use the if function and later combine it with other functions to see how we can accomplish this. So I'm going to say if the values in this range right there are equal to what I'm searching for. What is the case? Return me the corresponding value in this column. If you go through this list and you find the north, return a value from this list. Otherwise, I'm not interested, return a blank, close brackets, hit enter. Now this one does not work. As we can see here, it shows that it's not working. However, because it is returning an array and yes, array value could could not be found, the array cannot be cannot fit in this single cell. So what we do is we use the array formula, shift, control, enter is a shortcut to surround this with an array formula. When I hit enter, you can see it has returned John in John here, John one and John two, and the other are blanks. So these blanks relate to this first three. See one, two, three. Then we have John one, the three, then John one, then another three, then John two. 
which I'll write down here and join to. If I change this to north, east, you can see that it works and returns the value as expected. However, we are not interested in these blanks. And there are two ways of dealing with them. Maybe I'll show you one. One way could be wrapping the whole thing in a sort. I want to sort this, which takes the range. The sort column, I think it's only one column. Now here, I, it takes, is ascending, it takes a true or false value. If you want to sort ascending, you put true. Descending, you put false. However, if you put or true, it is going to retain these blanks there. Let's try that. If I put true, you see all the blanks go on top and my values go at the bottom. However, I'm interest, not interested in that. I'll put false and there you go. My values go on top, though they will be arranged in a different order, in a descending order. So this is how you can get the multiple values from a cell. Multiple values. It's a way of doing a lookup, but I use my if function. Now, again, some people may say, I want all these values to be returned into a single cell and be separated by a delimiter, for example, a comma. If you want all these to appear in the same cell, that one can also be done. There is another function that we shall use called the text join function. Text join, open bracket. The first argument is the delimiter. You want our values to be separated by a comma and a space. So that's what we want. The second argument is ignore empty spaces when we are joining words, we are trying to join words, but as we join the words, we discover there are empty spaces, then we need to ignore that. And the next, I think, is our, our array, which we did in the earlier example. Then lastly, we need to close our text join function and hit enter. As you can see, all our values are now input into a single cell, but all what we have done is utilize the text join function. If I change this to east, you can see the east, which is Peter one and Peter two showing in there was the same case and south the same. The second approach of finding the multiple values is we could use the filter function. So we type filter, open brackets, the first argument is the data that we want to filter, which will be this one here. We want to return a value from here. Comma. Then what is the basis of our filter? 
we are filtering based on what condition. This is what it's asking us based on south. So the values in this range should equal to what we have in this cell here. Close brackets and there you go. So this way, using the filter function, you could also return multiple values. So if I change this paste, you can see my values being returned. And this filter function to me looks like a more cleaner way of doing it. So again, if you want them to appear in the same row, all you have to do is use the text join function, takes the delimiter, how do we want to separate our values with a comma and dash and space. The next argument is whether we take empty spaces or we ignore them. So I'll say true to ignore. Then the next argument is our text or array. That is my filter and there you go. So you say north, you get west, you get the west, Paul is in the west. We have Paul here, that's two. And then there is another uh, right here, west and west right there. So these are the two different approaches you can use to return multiple values. Do not be stuck with the VLOOKUP and say it's not working. You can use the IF function and you can also use the FILTER function. The FILTER function is a more cleaner function which doesn't give you a lot of complications and could be the most preferred. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not and hit the notification button if you want to see more videos like this one. Have a great day.